All right, today we've been doing uh, we've been doing the uh, the non sports stuff and some comics and definitely more of that coming along the way. But I thought it might be fun to go back and do a little bit of something else that I thoroughly enjoyed collecting when I was uh, as a child. Uh, Top baseball cards. Now the neat thing with these uh, is, as you can see, instant win vintage tops cards, anniversary sweepstakes with win complete vintage sets. Blah, blah, blah. But what I understand is inside of each, uh, what they what tops did was they went and purchased one of each um, baseball card from fifty two to ninety, and then randomly inserted one in random packs. And I think it's like one every other case or one every six cases or whatever. But that would be super fun to get in and open up, uh, as well as the this, the point of going back and opening up a, a box of these. Um, it's been a while since I've opened up baseball cards. Um, I want to say I haven't opened up a complete box since around this time, maybe 93. But uh, I think Chipper Jones' uh, rookie card is in here. There's a couple other rookies, of course, which top of my head I don't know. But it would be cool to get like guys like Bo Jackson uh, Ricky Henderson, uh, Mike Greenwell, who was, who was one of my favorite Red Sox at the time, uh, Jim Rice being my all-time all favorite Red Sox, uh, but yeah, so maybe we'll get lucky, we'll pull one of those super cool, uh, inserted cards, maybe we won't, but I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot, and, uh, if we don't get one this time, do another one, but, baseball fans, here we go. Hmm, hey... Yes, a poster. What's the poster say? Probably everything I just said. Oh, it's basically just a sheet showing. Let's see if you guys see this really well. So this basically looks like a poster that they would uh, put up for advertisement, it looks like. Um, yeah, it's the real one. I don't know what that means, but it might be a shot of Upper Deck. <coughs> uh, but Upper Deck made, uh, you know, a little bit of cards, but that's okay. Uh, let's get the ball rolling on this one. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Not stored, uh, if, if you've seen the uh, Alien, uh, the cards we opened a little, just uh, previously, uh, not stored in a garage or a basement. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got in here. The good old wax on the back. Oh, I wish they could put an advertisement or something in the back. But hey, at least the gum's not terrible. We're still going to take that guy off each side. Just because. Now, this might be a longer video, of course, because i got 36 packs here. So sorry in advance. Put those two guys there. And then we'll do this. What? You Really? You can put that in the back? All right. You can put, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't want you to protect them anyway. Well, let's see what we got here. Look, so Dennis Lamp, Pedro Guerrero. He went to the Cardinals. I forgot he even did. Let's see. Gosh, he played from seventy-eight to to ninety. Yeah, it's a pretty good ball player all the way through. Good amount of power. Yeah, not a Hall of Famer. Very good though. Three hundred five career uh, batting average. Kenny Williams, Jeff Robinson. Dave Gallagher, Mark Lemke. Uh, did they go to the World Series in 90? I don't think so. 91, I think they did, though. Uh, record rate for Bobby Thigpen, I think. Yep. Uh, Eric Hansen, Kevin Seitzer, Rob Deere, Carl Rhodes, Bob Ojeda, Lee Guterman. And that's the thing, too. Just see, like, the printing of that name and then the printing of that name. Very fuzzy. Uh, lame. But that's okay. <coughs> see we got here that's the thing too is that's what you want to see is that chipper jones or, or that hall of famer right on the back <laughs> well, that's, with all that goo and stuff so that's the gum this is the wax Put that there turn this here All right, let's see. Mark Lee, Drew Hall, Jack Morris. What a good pitcher he was. Oh, Carl Everett. I forgot Carl Everett's in there. Uh, Jack Morris, at this point, this is before he went to the uh, Blue Jays and won himself another World Series. Was it Blue Jays or Twins? 
I can't remember. I think it's Twins. Uh, 198, 150. Really? 3.7 career? I wonder if he's even in the hall. Those are going to be iffy numbers to get in the hall with. He may not be. Uh, Carl Everett, rookie. Uh, Julio Machado. Britt Butler is another good ball player. Turner Ward. Matt Sinatro. Jamie Moyer. Very good pitcher. God, he pitched into his 40s, I think. Yep. It's because if you're a left-hander and you can throw reasonably well, you'll be playing until you're 50. Ron Kittle, Ken Hill, Phil Bradley, Gene Nelson. I'm uh, pretty sure they went to the World Series in 90. Uh, Reds, I think. Against the Reds. Oh, Moisey Salou. Moisey Salou. Let's just make sure we put Moisey Salou in the back of the wax. Oh, gosh. Uh, we started with the Pirates. I forget about that. Yeah, that uh, may not be a rookie, but it's very early. Wax. Wax, 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 wax. <laughs> and then they got Tommy Gordon in the back. He's got the junk on the back. Ugh. That's, gonna put a, that's a good picture, though. I'm going to put those all together. So these are all going to the trash bin, unfortunately. It's probably a way to get the wax off, but I don't know. I'm not super talented, so I'm not going to try. Ooh, Frank Robinson, manager card. All right, Frank Robinson, manager. Rick Parker, do not even recognize that one. Bip Roberts. Uh, Jay Bell, pretty good ball player. Uh, Pirates are really good there. Late 80, late 80 early 90 uh, area. Went to the uh, NFC title... What do you call it? The um, NLCS, I think two, three years in a row against the Braves. So, eh, sorry, guys. Uh, Edgar Diaz, Brett Saberhagen. There's another great pitcher. So, his numbers at this point 23 and 6 and 89 with a 2.16. How ridiculous is that? Off the hook. Yep. He was one of those guys that was not like a, um, what do you call it? A. Uh, Flamer, like, like, he didn't have a great fastball, but he was just more about control and stuff like that. Pascal Perez, Rosario Rodriguez, Mike Moore, Bill Baith, Scott Coolbaugh. Very cool, very cool. Err. Oh, why don't I just do that? <laughs> okay. Luis Quinones. Matt Sinatra. Trash in here. Jody Reed. There's a Red Sox. Sorry, guys. Man. Man. I'm a Red Sox fan. What can I tell you? I mean, that's basically like baseball. But I well, I was watching a lot of baseball at that point. And locally, you could only see those guys. So, uh, Ozzy Canseco. <laughs> Jim Presley. Uh, Kirk McCaskill. Chuck Carey. Frank White. Joey Reed, uh, Ryan Sandberg. Throwing error concludes streak of 123 flawless game at second base by Sandberg. It's pretty good, dude. Almost a whole year. Uh, John Barfield, Kurt Miller, draft pick card, which are uh, Ozzie Smith. It's about the end, so let's see what he's got for numbers here. Uh, 256 average. There's more for his glove anyway. Uh, 19 homers. 464 stolen bases, 600 RBI, 1,798 hits. Hit 100, had 182 hits at 87 with a 303 average, but a ton of at-bats. Um, he's probably early on in your uh, lineup. Oh, I'm pretty sure he was. Price second. Earlier, Greg Brock, Scott Bankhead. That's a weird one. <laughs> like it's the cards are like, no, get me away from this mat wax. I gotta go, I gotta go. Just the rascal. I'm sorry, I'm fine. Flashbacks, what are you gonna do? Uh, <clears throat> Jack Armstrong. Ooh, Strawberry is a good player. Give it. Alrighty. Uh, Craig Wilson, Joe Orsolak, Jim Abbott, very good. 
Mike Fitzgerald, Willie Randolph. That's another good guy. Uh, towards the end, he played the Yankees most of his career. Um, Dodgers a couple of years. I went to the Athletics. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they went to the World Series that year. I remember him being there. Uh, 257, 274 career, 1997 hits. 52 home runs, 266 stolen bases. Yeah, it's, his glove is probably what people remember him for. Oh, big old ding on Strawberry there. 252 home runs in his first eight years. Ooh, 39, 88. I didn't even remember that. Gee, Willikers. I'm just ripping it up. 37 and 90. Wow. Um, strikeouts, let's see. Yep, a strikeout a home run, please. Uh, Luis Aquino... Adam Peterson, Travis Fryman, Jeff Pico, Chris Gwynn, McAnderson All-Star, Greg Olson. That's the thing. Is anybody, uh, anybody who's watching, has anybody ever opened a, uh, like a retro card in one of these packs? I've never seen nor heard of anybody doing it. I'm sure somebody has. I didn't didn't bother to look online, but you know, I, I imagine if somebody opened the 52 mantle, we would have heard something by now. Um, or not. <laughs> bing, bing. Paul O'Neill, very good ball player. Uh, went went on to the Yankees. Uh, had himself a good career. Got himself a couple rings. I want to say. They might he might have got a ring uh, with the Reds in ninety. I can't really. I want to say they won, but I can't remember. Um, Colby Ward, Kevin Reamer, Gary Gaetti, Johnny Ray, Jim Leland. <laughs> Jim Jim Leland when he was young, but he still didn't look young. But he still he looks much older now. Uh, Jeff Russell, Fernando. Let's see Fernando's career. Yeah, dude, he ate up innings. Look at that innings. 2,348 in 11 years. So that's like 200 innings a season. That can't be, That's average. Looks like at 88 he was hurt, too. So uh, 331 career for uh, ERA is really good. Uh, 141, 116. Yep, yeah, that's crazy. Not a Hall of Famer, I don't think. Uh, future star, Jose Offerman. Scott Fletcher. Robbie Thompson. Chris Bozio. Mark Balecki in the wax slot. Brent Knacker. Put him there. And put him there. And then we do this. Candy and Maldonados. I mean, this gum's only, what, 30 years old? I bet I can give it a bite. <laughs> Matt Williams, Marquise Grissom. Is Marquise Grissom, see how uh, he's, like, focused? Or is he mad that they, uh, the uh, strike robbed us of a World Series in 94? That's when I stopped watching for a good number of years. <clears throat> because just, you know, a point. Larry Anderson, Larry Sheets, Bobby Thigpen All-Star, Darren Lewis, Candy Maldonado, Bobby Bonilla. I think that dude's still getting paid by the Mets. He has some crazy contract. He gets, he gets like a million, two million dollars a year or something every year. I don't know, but good on you, bud. Uh, Tom Bolton, Jeff Treadway. It's another favorite, too, because up here we get TBS. So we, I, was, I watched all the Braves games I could, so it was Braves, Red Sox. Uh, Bill Spears, Andy Hawkins, Brian McCray. Now, Andy Hawkins, I wonder if it says it on the back here. Uh, nope. It says that he enjoys fishing, hunting, watching the Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys, and raising cattle on his ranch. He and his wife have three children, Katie, Libby, and Curtis. This poor guy, I think it was this year too, uh, threw a no-hitter, and because of errors, it was in Detroit, I think, because of errors, he lost like one to nothing. After throwing a no hitter, which I think is the only one that ever did that. So, props to you, Andy. Props to you. That was painful to watch on Sports Center. I was like, what just happened? Which, 
coincidentally, he was probably saying himself, so. <laughs> what do I got to do to win a game here? Well, more than that, apparently. Uh, Harm Winningham. Yeah, we've not got a Chipper Jones yet. I think I have one from previous when, when I was collecting. Anyway, so that's fun. But it would be super cool to open one. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Brent Knackert, Ozzy Canseco, Jim Presley. Uh-oh, we're back on the same sheet. Uh, Kirk McCaskill, Chuck Carey, Frank White. That's different. Uh, Rob Dibble, Frank Thomas. That's nice. Dave Schmidt, Steve Lyons. I love Steve Lyons. And <laughs> some of the things you do, brother. Oh, gosh. Jim Vatcher and Jose Leend. Yeah, they must have those games on uh, on YouTube, full games of the playoffs with the Braves and the Pirates. Good Pirate teams. Uh, Doug Drabeck, I remember him being a starter. Um, Tim Wakefield, one year. He has old John Farrell as a pitcher. Rex Hudler. That's one of those moments where I didn't finish a thought, and I have no idea what it was, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Luis Rivera. From the expo came from the expo, I think. Yep, expos, Red Sox. Not terrible. He's de is same thing. His glove and he had a little pop and yeah. Storm Davis, Steve Jeltz, Todd Hundley, Lou Pinella. Look at that. Chris Sabo had ninety five runs with the home runs. Chris Sabo had twenty five home runs on that team. Wow. I remember him about a cork bat at one point later on. <clears throat> I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Greg Smith. John Candelaria, uh, Steve Crawford, Cito Gaston, another good manager, uh, Randy Reddy, Jim Acker, Jose Gon Gonzalez, that was hard, Ron Hassey. Paul Merrick. Nice. Yeah, some of these. It looks like the same thing with like uh well, like the magic thing. Sometimes the sheets get just get shuffled right in with um same same packs. But that's fine. Randy Myers, Charles Niggy. I thought he was gonna be a thing for years, but Yeah. Left hander, I think. Nope, right hander. Uh Brian Downing. That's a good ball player. Oh, he'd been around for a long time. I didn't even recognize. Wow. Yeah, he had really good years toward the middle. He looks like he had an opportunity to play. 66. He was on the 86 uh, Angels, of course, against the Red Sox in the playoffs. Luis Salazar, Nelson Santavena. Uh, Mike Bodecker is a guy I liked. Uh, Lenny Dykstra. I don't know if I liked him, disliked him, whatever, but I appreciated how he played the game. Uh, Bobby Bonilla, Tom Bolton, Jeff Treadway, Billy Spears, Andy Hawkins. So it looks like Carl Everett's the best rookie we've opened so far. Keith Miller. Try not to see what's behind us in case it's something good. I want to be surprised. Oops, I'll be surprised if I actually uh, do this right. There we go. Rich Gar says he was pretty good. It was nothing great, but he was pretty good. Uh, Mike Sims, Dave Martinez, Mike Marshall. Uh, that was the guy we got from the Dodgers. Yeah, Dodgers. He was pretty good, but when the Red Sox got him, he was kind of towards the end. It's still decent, but nothing great. Two eighty six, four homers. Not bad. Not bad. Helped him get to the. Uh, helped him get to the uh, playoffs where they get, where they were able to get swept by the. Uh, A's, um, Burt Blylevin, Chris Sabo, Frank Viola, Mark Gubazal, Steve Frey, Bobby Valentine, uh, Jose Akindo. See that, see that Red Sox fans? Bobby Valentine can... Is he smiling? I think he's smiling. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Joe Torre, Dick Schofield. God, that was a rough year with Bobby Valentine up here. 
I don't think they should have uh, let Francona go. I think they, I think the ownership threw him under the bus. I'm not pleased. Um, that's the kind of thing that, for me, I, you know, um, I did not really watch the Red Sox. I've not f followed them like, like super close since then, and it, just because it's just. <clears throat> Personally, I didn't care for how they how the management treated uh, <coughs> Frank Coda. but I guess that's business. Not really, but that's how some people do business. Uh, Jeff King, Vince Coleman, Ray Langford. That was a good good player. I thought <coughs> plenty of ability. Lee Stevens, Tim Burke, Dana Kicker, Freddie Lynn. Wow, ooh, Larry Walker. That's nice. <coughs> yeah, gosh, look at that. With the Red Sox, he was great. Rookie of the year in 75, I think. Uh, with a 331, 21 homers, 10 RBI. Uh, they went to the World Series that year, 79. He had 39 homers, 333 batting average. That is ridiculous. Last year with the Red Sox was 80. At that point, he was over 300 for his career. Ended with 283, 306 homers. Yeah, that dude, man. I saw him, uh, again, Larry Walker, tops rookie. I think this is because they didn't have him in a regular set before that. But uh, I saw that dude running for a ball in, uh, it's like he has no depth perception or something, but in Detroit he was running for a ball. I think he was, was a Detroit player at that point. Harold Reynolds, uh, George Brett, he's a Hall of Famer, and uh, Kelly Gruber. Um Ran into the wall to catch a ball, knocked himself out, and broke the electronic clock. It just went to all, like, lines. It was just... Oh, my God. Like, it's just, it's, it's kind of like Forrest Gump. They, sh they should have had dudes out there with signs. It's like, stop! But that's all right. That would be stealing an idea. We don't want to do that. Yeah, so that's upside down. So let's do that. Bing bong ding dong. Bing bong ding dong. Bing bong ding dong. Bernard Gilkey. I forgot about Bernard Gilkey. Gilkey. Alan Trammell, All Star. Alan Trammell. Uh, Jim Gantner. He's a good ball player. Brewer most of his career. Looks like all of his career at that point. I swear he got out of the Milwaukee, but I guess not. Yeah. Uh, Kurt Young. Eric Davis is another good guy. Uh, off center, like. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Bill Bill Long, Bill Long, Alan Anderson, Kenny Rogers. Very early, second year maybe. Pretty good, pretty good pitcher. Lefty, of course. So, uh, George Bell, another great power hitter. Pretty good numbers. They had a couple really good years, and then like '87, I swear there was they did something with the ball because like, even Wade Boggs had like 26 home runs. Steve Bushell, Bryn Smith. Dana Kicker, Tim Buck, Carl Nichols, Todd Benzinger was a started out as a Red Sox. You know, he ended up going to the Reds. I don't know where he went after that or if he went anywhere else. Uh, Ken Obergfell, Jerome Walton, Dallas Burks. That's another good guy. He really started hitting tons of homers when he went to uh, Colorado. The air is, like, really thin up there, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Good for 20 homers a year, 20 stolen bases. Not bad. Missed, missed a lot of games, unfortunately, but... Yeah, but Rooney. Uh, John Orton... Mickey Morandini, Tim Sherrill, Todd Benzinger, uh, Jeff Ballard, the Ballard of Jeff Ballard, uh, Jeff King, Vince Coleman, Ray Lankford, Lee Stevens, and Tim Burke. I haven't seen, I don't even, I haven't seen a Mark Langston in here. Of course, 792 cards in the set, so it is likely you will not see a lot of Oh, why is the Manning they gotta have the stuff on it? That's another guy, man. He bums me out. That dude didn't get a didn't get a. Uh, see these numbers here? If you can see them, I don't know if you can see them. Hopefully, you can see them. 
but yeah, that dude was a hitting machine. He did off a tee for like an hour before every game. Blink. Oh God, Greg Jeffries. We we thought he was the next coming of something. Maybe not Jesus, but maybe Mary. Uh, Jeff Reed, Phil Plantier. That guy had a ton of power, but his average was more. Like his first, let's see, Lynchburg, he did really well. 27 homers on uh, 89 with 300 average. Then he had 33 homers with 253 in Pawtucket. And then just a couple games in uh, Boston. Bob Welch, All-Star. Bill Doran. Yvonne Calderon. Jose Rijo. Some 14-8, 2.7. It was a good year. Ooh. Yeah, he had great ERA with the uh, the Reds. Wow. Hmm. Anyway, Bill Pakoda, Greg Jeffries, Terry Steinbeck. Give it, give it. Barry Jones, Mike Gallego, Mike Jeffco, uh, Roberto Olimar. I was going to say Jim Jeffco, but I'm like, that's not a cowboy. Yeah, for Rooney. Jeff Ballard. I already did the ballad of Jeff Ballard. <laughs> but, I see Dante Bichette. Quirk. Quirk. All right. Ooh, Mel Stockmeyer. Andre Dawson, that dude. 348, 283 average, 2,200 hits. I wonder how many more years he played, and I wonder if he's in the hall. Because he's close with the home runs. Uh, checklist, Atlee Hamaker, Dave Bergman, Geronimo Pena, Doug Drayback. He went 22-6 and six with a 2.76 ERA that year. Uh, ooh, he was a Yankee farmhand. Wow, I didn't know that. <coughs> So, let's see, 87, 3.88, eh. but then, 88, 308, 89, 2.8, and 90, 2.76. That's pretty good. Wow. Glenn Davis, Bobby Witt, John Marzano, Greg Gagne, Rafael Ramirez, and Dante Bichette. Dante Bichette. He's another guy who went to Colorado and hit a ton of home runs. <laughs> Let's see Bichette. No, I don't think that's I don't think that's a rookie. But it's another good guy that hit a bunch of homers. He ended up being a Red Sox for a year, I think, too. Same when uh, David Cohn was there. It was probably 2000, 2001, somewhere in that range. I got to, see, got to go see a game, and I got to see uh, Greg Vaughn <laughs> launching off David Cohn. Very disappointing. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Oh, 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 wow. That's crazy. Looky, looky. We actually got one. Wow. So they really actually went out and did that. That is crazy. An 86 Greg Gagne, which is funny because we just got Greg Gagne in the other one. That is awesome. That's crazy. That is so cool. Wow. I mean, it would have been better if it was a... 52 mantle, but that's awesome. Very cool. Well, luckily we won't find another one of those, so I guess now we're looking for the uh, um, Chipper Jones rookie. That's crazy. I never even thought that, that I would open one in this first box. That's crazy. Uh, Ozzy Smith, Eddie Murray, Greg Brock, Scott Bankhead, Luis Quinones, Matt Williams, which I forgot to pull out. Uh, Dwight Smith, Rick Russell, Mike Lavalier, Dave Parker, right at the end. Oh, he's still hitting good. 289, 21 homers, 328, 293 average. He's a good hitter. Uh, Gary Pettis and Mike Ruffin. Ruffin? Mike Ruffin? Bruce Ruffin. That's crazy, man. That's funny. Don't give a shit. Come on, later. Cecil Fielder. I think he ended up going to be a Yankee, too. 
Maybe give yourself a ring. Of course, that was when I stopped watching, so <laughs> sorry, everybody. Uh, Tom Browning, <clears throat> Jose De Leon, Mickey Hatcher. Mickey Hatcher, I like your check. Mickey Hatcher a lot. Good ball player. Just, you know, not a, not a ton of power. Definitely wasn't juicing, which is another thing that made me walk away from the game for a while. Um, yeah, I just saw him he hit a home run in the World Series, and he just hustled around the bases. He didn't do that strawberry strut. <laughs> so Shane Andrews, uh, Felix Jose. So I, I appreciated that. Uh, a lot, so, um, it's kind of stuff I like, hustle, hard work, John Marzano, Greg Gagne, that's <laughs> so funny, Rafael Ramirez, Chet of the Lemon, Barry Larkin, Gary Green, Sam Horn, man, we thought he was going to be some monstrous thing. I think he came up with a first base outfielder um, for the Red Sox. Dennis Cook, Dave Rode, Nelson Liriano, Kevin Wickender, Kevin Romine, Mark Davidson, Gary Green, Sam Horn. Sam Horn came up in 87 with the Red Sox, hit 278 with 14 home runs in 158 at bats. We're like, whoo! 88, 148. Uh, Oh, 148 again, then 248 and 90. Where he hit 14 home runs again, but that was 246 at bat. So I don't think he really did anything else after that. Rock Reigns should be in the hall if he's not. Hmm, I don't know if that's true. Definitely a good hitter, but just didn't seem to have the numbers there. It's only at 1,598 um, hits at 90, beginning at 91. Hmm. Bud Rogers, or Buck Rogers? Bob Rogers, okay. Lance Dixon, future star. Matt Noakes, I like Matt Noakes. Leo Perez, I remember when the Yankees came to Fenway one year. I think it might have been this year. He uh, hit a couple home runs off Clemens before he <clears throat> allegedly he uh, put needles in his bum. Um, and he threw inside on him and missed him, I think, the first time. And there was a, uh, the second time he threw inside and Noakes caught it. Between his arm and his and his rib cage, and then grabbed it, spun around, and threw it right back at Clemens. Oh man, you gotta find a clip of that on YouTube. Intense. <laughs> That's re Umpire's like, ooh, we should probably th you know put some warnings out here. Do you think? Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. That was, that, that was exciting. I'm not a big fan of the, like those moments and stuff. The like bench clearing brawls and stuff, but that was pretty cool. It was like, dude, I don't know who you think you're throwing at, but. <laughs> I am certainly not going to take it lying down. Uh, Hesketh, Red Sox. Let's see. Milt Thompson, Tim Belcher, Gary Carter. That's going to be right at the end. Let's see what he's got for numbers. Um, 313 homers, 265. I think he's in the hall. Does he really belong in the hall with those numbers? It must be, like, he had a ring. It must be the other stuff. His, uh... Yeah, there's got to be other stuff that put him in there. Being a catcher, you uh, pretty much make your uh, pitching staff better or worse, depending on how good you are. Damon Berryhill, Kurt Stilwell, Hubie Brooks, Zane Smith, Pat Borders, Tim Leary, Xavier Hernandez, Kevin Bass, Billy Hatcher, and John Wathan. Yes, you deserve a little more, a little more screen time. That is pretty cool. Let's get you right there. Yeah, that's awesome. What a good way. What a good way to start things. Not that I'm not gonna continue. <laughs> I'm trying to get more. But yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, there's gonna have to be a special place for those. Get that out of there. All right. See, Marquis Christian. Bummed out because he didn't open that. Bro, bro, buy some cases. Larry Anderson. Uh, Larry Anderson. Barely remember him playing for the Red Sox. Ooh, pitched really well, though. 1.23 in 15 games. 
1.95 for the Astros the same year. Wow, it's really good. Larry Sheets, Bobby Thigpen, All-Star, Darren Lewis, Kenny Maldonado, Mike Bilecki, Rod Booker, Joel Skinner, Greg Riddick, Scott Sanderson. Was Scott Sanderson good? I don't remember. Well, he was good on a team where they scored 800 runs a game. <laughs> 3.88 and won 15 games, or 17 games. Billy Ripken and Ricky Henderson. Oh, it's off center. That's too bad. Now this guy, Hall of Fame. Was he goofing off in 87? He only, I don't know, he got, it looks like he was hurt. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Stolen. He, he could run whatever he wanted. That's crazy. Plenty of pop, too. Start off a game with him. I mean, that, that he's probably, well, in, in, you know, our generation, my generation, whatever, probably the most dangerous leadoff hitter. I can't, I can't speak for, like, the older days or even currently because I don't really, you know, watch um, nowadays. But probably the most dangerous leadoff hitter of all time. Uh, Schooler, Mike Schooler, Mark Gardner, Barry Bonds. Look at this guy. Allegedly, again with the needles. Um, creams, whatever. Dude was, dude was an all-star Hall of Famer before any of that stuff. So it's, it's disappointing that he went that route. Allegedly. And he keeps saying allegedly. Uh, Joe Gray, Dan Pasqua. I'll take this moment to say that, uh, in my opinion, Hank Aaron is still the all-time home run champion. Uh, John Moses, Mark Grant, David Wells. Another good pitcher. Best year's probably with the Yankees, but I remember him being really nasty. Yeah. Uh, 11 and 6 with a 3.14. Game started 25. So, yeah, he was nasty. Right from the get go, really. John Shelby. I forgot about John Shelby. Ramon Martinez. Uh, brother, I think, of Pedro. Bob Walk. Kevin Elster. Charlie Huff. This guy's like, look at that. He's, he looked at that age for like 50 years. Dude started in 70. This was 90. So it already been 20 years. 12 and 12. 4.07. 3.63. Wow. Kirk Gibson, that guy, that's iconic, uh, home run in the 88 World Series, that's crazy, one of those times my dad was really, really happy, and got, got to see uh, Dodgers win a World Series again, uh, 90, 21, uh, yeah, not a whole favorite unfortunately, but definitely a memorable player. Whitaker, Lance Johnson, Tom Glavin, Steve Finley, Jose De Jesus, Jose, yeah, Jose De Jesus, Glenn Braggs, Tommy Gregg, Doug Drebeck, All Star, Corey Snyder. We thought he was gonna be something super, super sweet. Jeff Montgomery, Mark Newfeld, same thing. Thought he was gonna be something. Ron Darling, pretty good pitcher. Um, looks like his best years were with the uh, Mets. Oh, well, looks like he was with the Mets the whole time, late '80s. Definitely 86, 15 and 6 with a 2.81. Right up to the World Series Championship. Ding. Danny Tarable. Kevin Moss, forget about Kevin Moss. Oh, Stump Merrill, Jesus, forget about him too, Jesus. All right, that's what we got here. Stump Merrill, Brett Saberhagen, Checklist, Pascal Perez, Pas that was hard to say, Pascal Perez, wow. I think he had, uh, had a no-hitter too. What? Why would you, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, uh, all right, I'll say it because you can see it. 
Why would you put this on somebody's card? Scheduled to pitch for Braves, 8-19-82. Pascal became lost driving on roads outside Atlanta Stadium. Could you find something positive? Rosario Rodriguez, Mike Moore. I want to look at his numbers. Yeah. Uh, did well. Wow. Like 90. He just didn't have his stuff. 4.65 after being 2.61 in 89. Uh, Bill Bath. Kevin Moss. There's another guy that's going to be the next big thing. 21 homers, 252 average, uh, 254 at bats. So. Should have been hitting around 40 homers, but he never got close again. Uh, Manny Lee, Jeff Schaefer, Carney Lansford, another really good ball player. Uh, Junior Ortiz, Ray Palacios. Dennis Cook. Hey, there we go. Bing. Bing. Yeah, Jimmy Key. Jimmy Key, that's a good picture too. I remember he went from the Blue Jays uh, onto the Yankees mid 90s. Uh, I wonder if he got a championship. What else? Uh, Andrew Harcedeno, Jeff Kaiser, Rick Honeycutt, Greg Hibbard, Nolan Ryan, record breaker. It's a little off center. Uh, senior citizen among pitchers who have authored a no-hitter. Yep, and seven, six of no-hitter. Was it a seventh no-hitter? 43, four months later, he became the oldest pitcher to hurl with Jim. The former mark was 41 years, three months, one day by Cy Young, of course. Uh, Alan Mills, Gary Wayne, Fanny Martinez, Bob Melvin, Pete O'Brien, Mike Kingery, Wilson Alvarez. Wilson Alvarez, he, he was pretty good for a while. I think it would have been uh, Chicago. Oh, <laughs> Chicago. Kelly Gruber. Yeah, we're getting down there. I wonder if we can get ourselves a second insert card. What? <laughs> Gosh, how many cases are out there if, if, if they made one of every card? And that's just one. Oh, the Clemens card. That's a good picture. I like that. Look at that. Look at his numbers before uh, questionable uh, alleg allegedly. Look at that. 90, 21 and 6 with a 1.93. That's, that's ridiculous. <sighs> anyway. Another Larry Walker. Let's look at Greg Olson. Jack Clark, Sandy Alomar, that's good. Derek Lilquist, Alvaro Espinosa, Mackie Sasser, Larry Walker, Danny Jackson, Mike Fetters, Harold Reynolds, George Rett, Kelly Gruber, and Mike Blowers. Bing. Scott Scudder, Dennis Lamp, Pedro Guerrero, Kenny Williams, Jeff Robinson, Dave Gallagher, Michael Lemke, Mark Guthrie, Bob Welch, Craig Biggio, Jeffrey Leonard, Calvin Chiroli, oh, Calvin, and Mike Pagliarulo. Oh, Calvin. I like how the 86, you know, as Red Sox loss. By the fans was blamed on Buckner, not Sheraldi, not Bob Stanley, who threw a ball past Buck uh, Gedman. I don't even know if they blamed him with the pass ball or they give him wild pitch. I don't even know the line of the shields. Um, but Buckner shouldn't have been out there, and if not for Buckner <clears throat> during the season, they wouldn't have made it anyway. Um, and I don't think any of the players, I've not seen one player come out and blame him. In fact, I've seen them come out and say the opposite. So. Uh, 
Buckner, Borderline Hall of Famer. I love the guy's work ethic, toughness, what have you. So, never thought it was his fault. I was confused when I woke up the day after the game because I fell asleep before the ending. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, the beginning of the ending, I was like, oh, three runs up? They got this. <laughs> woke up, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, three runs. Yeah, nice. But that's okay. I Barry Larkin, Louis McDowell, Andy McGaffigan, Joe Morgan. I liked Morgan as a, as a manager. He, uh, Ellis Burks. Oh, man. Uh, there was a... There was a single, and Burks came up from third and kind of, you know, kind of jogged his way into home. And while doing so, the, the ball came into second, and the person who had hit the ball was trying to st stretch to second. Gets thrown out before Burks scores. Pretty sure Mo Morgan met him halfway between the plate and the dugout and chewed him out. Because, you know, run. <laughs> yeah, at least you can do. Ernie Witt, Ernie Witt. Ooh, 249, huh? That's a nice. Oh, God, he ended up in the Braves? I don't even know. Greg Olson, Badonk. Ken Howell, Lisa Kino, Adam Peterson, Travis Fryman, Jeff Pico, Chris Gwynn, Rick Anderson All-Star, Little Off Center, Gene Harris, Tom O'Malley, Donnie Hill, Greg Leppard, Otis Nixon, man, that guy could fly, Spike Owen, what, went to the Expos, I forgot, I forgot he left the Red Sox, huh, oh well. David Justice for the Wax Slot. That's how I felt. <laughs> yeah, the Wax guy. Nice. Nice, David. Nice. Oh, he got 28 homers, 282 his first year. 127 games, too. He's not even a full year. Yeah, that, that, that Braves team was freaking stacked, dude. It's ridiculous. Not carry on. Ah, Greenwell, all right. Lloyd Mosby, Jeff Innes, Mark Parent, Pete Smith, Don Robinson, Andres Thomas, Mark Eichhorn. What? Okay. Mike Greenwell. Let's see what Greenie's got here. Uh, in 88, he hit 22 homers, 119 RBI, had a 325 average. I think he came in second place to... Jose Canseco in the MVP race. And then Canseco was like, eh, I don't even care. <laughs> really? Okay, well, because it was, it was in his book about uh, the steroid use and what have you. And my green was after the book came out, I was like, really? Well, give me give me the award then, or give it to Harold Baines. <laughs> two, two guys that actually, you know, as far as we know, didn't juice or anything like that. And, you know, loved the game and played the game for the game, not because it's, quote, Entertainment. Yes, it is entertainment, but cheating is cheating. I'm going to give the dad speech where we say, you cheated yourself, young man. No. Although I just did. Anyway. There we go. Andre Dawson. Checklist. Ali Hamaker. Dave Bergman. Jerono Pena. Doug Drabeck. Frederick Griff. Daryl Urban. John Burkett. There's McGuire. Oh, there's another one of those guys. We'll just go right past that. Mark Langston. Mark Langston. Wow. He was up and down. Very, very erratic. But, left-handed. <laughs> Wait, you're left-handed? You can throw a, football, a baseball? Nice. We got a job for you. Scott Scooter. Scott Scooters. Alright, Dave Steve, uh, Dave Steves. Yeah, he's a pretty good pitcher. 166 wins. 
Yeah, it's hard to get 300 wins, folks. <laughs> Very hard. Ask Charlie Huff. <laughs> Might still be pitching, I don't know. Of course, I'm kidding. Of course, he's not pitching. Uh, Tommy Gregg, Dick Braver, All Star, Corey Schneider, oh, Jack Montgomery, Mark Newfield, Newfeld, Newfield, Ron Darling, Charlie Huff, Don Robinson, Jay Howell, Terry Kennedy, Tim Jones. I know Tim Jones, but that's not him. Uh, Brian Holman, and Nick Leva. All right, we're getting down to the gritty gritty. The gum's trying to poke out of that bag. I can't wait to be opened. There's the Jose Canseco, which I did not get yet. Yeah, 42 home runs, 40 stolen. Oh, that's right, 307. He had a very good year, but. Da -da 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 -da. Don't forget your juice, boy. Don't forget to drink your juice. Willie Blair. Greg Swindell, Ted Power, Bob Tewksbury, Gerald Clark, Jeff Husson, uh, Pat Borders, Tim Leary, Xavier Hernandez, Kevin Bass, Billy Hatcher, John Wathan, Boop. Joe Hesketh. See that big one. He's trying to fight out. <laughs> the last. Area. Come on, Chipper. Don't let me down. Oh, right. Let's get going. Wow, that would have been crazy if that was Chipper. <laughs> Ooh, Carlos Quintana. Jose, uh, excuse me, Jesse Rasco, Luis Rivera, Storm Davis, Steve Jeltz, Todd Hundley, Lou Pinella, Greg Smith, Carlos Quintana, Lee Smith. 363 saves. Pretty good. Oh, he had a really good year with the Red Sox. I remember him blowing, blowing one game, and Clemens was super bad. Uh, 30, 30, where's the saves? He's only saved 29. But 2.80 oh, average. Uh, ERA, it's not terrible at all. Hmm. Okay. Cal Daniels, Joe Klink, Joe Girardi, and Tia Martinez. Tino. All right, guys, the last pack. Let's see if we can't get Chipper in here. Ow! All right, Mark Merrick. And Ken Daly. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Mike Dunn, Chris Carpenter, Ernie Riles, Sammy Sosa, another <coughs> alleged juicer, although uh, I do understand it was Glenstone Vitamins. Dude, dude still got, also got caught, caught with a, uh, not a corked bat, but he had, the, <laughs> he had one of those bats where it was drilled out and they put like rubber balls, oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, find that video, it's pretty funny. Uh, Alfredo Griffin, Nelson Santavinia, Mike Boddicker, Tim Wallach, Jeff McKnight, Chuck Krim, Walt Weiss, Sergio Valdez, and Dave Valley. So no Chipper Jones, that's too bad. But look at this guy. That's so crazy. That is funny. And off center too. Did you guys buy those on purpose? Look at that. Whoop. That's crazy. That's so cool, dude. Oh, well. Well, hey. First sports box we opened. This was pretty cool. Very good stuff. Um, yeah, so not even baseball season, but I just had to. It's just a nice way to relax. Open a bunch of packs. Um, probably going uh, to you know, go back to doing some more uh, non-sports and uh, maybe try to do some in-season sports like hockey or, or uh, football, basketball from like this time frame, you know, older stuff. Uh, yeah, so any any sports in particular anybody wants to see, give us a shout, put it in the comments below. I'd definitely be interested to uh, get some input on that. Um, 
get people involved. It'll be a little more fun for everybody. But uh, all right. I hope everybody had fun. We'll see you again soon. Bye.